Doom. Uh, how much needed three points at the weekend? Just reflecting on that one, it was a hell of an end to that game, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even besides the uh, the dramatics at the end, I thought we deserved it. I thought we were brilliant for 90 minutes. Um, everything we'd worked on all week, defensively, with and without the ball, uh, fantastic. Obviously, a great way to finish. But uh, regardless, we were. I think we were on top for most of the game. So I think we got what we deserved. Yeah, I was just about to touch on that. Albeit them scoring late on, it was a pretty much a, a perfect performance, wasn't it? Yeah, listen, Callum, it's a fantastic effort by Callum. He has that ability as well from the, the free kicks, so um, we know that. That's the reason he's on it. And then from that point on, was defensively without the ball, and we also had chances as well. I think we had 20 shots at target, and did some fantastic blocks as well. So, um, yeah, I think it was well-deserved, and, and it's the kind of thing, hopefully, that will spark us now and we can go on a little bit of a run. You're obviously very lucky to work with Cole Stockton every day in training. That kind of goal is probably, you see that on a regular basis, don't you? Just that kind of ability. Just talk us through it, it's just mental, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Like we were joking, saying if you drop 20, 30 balls the halfway line, try to do it again with no pressure, no wind, no crowd, not having played 94 minutes, I, I don't know if you can do it that often. But uh, fantastic, he's having one of those years, one of those seasons, everything he's hitting goes in. So we'll, uh, we'll ride along the wave along with him and hope that he continues. But fantastic, he deserves it, he works hard every day, he's a good lad, he, he's a, a real big character in the group as well. So um, yeah, please God, he can keep doing it for us. We've got some difficult games, haven't we, coming up, starting with Charlton Athletic on Tuesday night. Just talk us through that one. Yeah, listen, they've had a, a real bounce since uh, the manager's taken over. I don't think he's been given the job yet, but I don't know what they're waiting on. But um, So, yeah, tough game. Tough. Uh, listen, every game is tough. It's a cliche to say it, but every game is tough. But on the flip side, we've shown that we can go against some of the top teams, home or away, and we can compete. So we'll be looking at it as an opportunity to get points, to get a little bit of a run together, build momentum, and, and hopefully get ourselves up the league. We're only looking one way. We said that from the beginning, even when we're on a bad run of form, we're looking up, we're not looking behind us. So um, if we can kind of kick on Tuesday and then build into Saturday again. They had a really positive result the weekend, didn't they? Winners against Plymouth Argyle, beating them the first time they've beaten since the opening day. Just shows that the kind of strength that they've got in that side. Yeah, listen, I think they were in a false position. Everyone knew that and, and listen, they've made the change with the manager. Um, the quality they have in the squad, the budget they have behind them, size of club, the support. I think there was 20 odd thousand at their game the other day. Um, fantastic, we watched the game, we've obviously reviewed it, we've watched their recent games and, and they're, they're a good side, like everybody you look at the teams and think, you know what, they should be in the top half, they're, they're a good side, so we'll go at it, we'll compete, but on our day we're a very good side as well, so hopefully we can, we can build on the weekend success and, and use the momentum, the boys are obviously bouncing into work this morning, so hopefully we can, uh, we can use that and go again. You just touched on it there, they did change the manager halfway through, obviously, Nigel Atkins going out and then club legend Johnny Jackson coming in. Do you think it's sometimes that old phrase, uh, new manager bounce, is, is well and truly prevalent in their squad at the minute? Yeah, and it doesn't need to be anything tactical or technical, doesn't it? Anything, it can just be a new voice, it can just be a, he's obviously a different age to the previous manager and stuff as well, so maybe a little bit of enthusiasm, fresh ideas, maybe know some of the players quite well from being there for years as well. So, um, listen, he's got a, ma a major bump. Uh, from his point of view, he'll be looking to sustain that going forward. There's usually a, a new manager bump when you go in, He'll be looking to make sure they don't fall off a cliff now in terms of results and performances. So, um, fair play to them. Good luck to them. I hope they do fantastic, except on Tuesday. So, um, but yeah, it's it's good to see, and I think it's no negative on the previous manager, and it's it's a case of well done, and you move on, and he's he's proven what he's all about in his previous jobs as well. You look at some of the names within that squad. You have got like former Wales international Chris Gunter, uh, Jaden Stockley, Connor Washington. Elliot Lee, it's kind of a, an embarrassment of riches really, isn't it? Yeah, and that's this league, it, it's mad. You, you, listen, you look at ourselves and, and we don't consider ourselves little old Morecambe anymore, but you're in the league against massive, massive clubs with, with players that have played in, in the Euros. You must be, as mentioned, Gunther and stuff like that. Huge amount of caps internationally, very proven, played in the Premier League. So, But that's the challenge for our boys, that's the excitement for our boys, that's the excitement for anyone who comes to our club as a coach, as a staff member or as a player. Um, you get the opportunity to go and test yourselves against boys that have done it and, and show that you're that level and, and even you can kick on again. The gaffer spoke in, in recent weeks about some players who have been on the injury list starting to slowly work their way back into training. How's that looking? Yeah, it's been great. We've had, I think we had 22 players today training, uh, outfield players. I don't really count the goalkeepers, but um, but yeah, the, the ones that matter, the, the outfield players, there's a, a good competition now again. And as I said, a good bounce between the lads. Obviously, there's fellas knocking on the door who want to get back in. And guys that have the shirt who have to try and keep it. Um, you, see, you see the depth we have, the quality we have, the likes of Phillips, too many different people on the bench the other day. Um, if we can keep that going, it means the boys who are starting are doing fantastic. So please God, we'll get the likes of John Obika back in. We have a reserve game next week as well to get a few people more minutes. So it's, uh, it's looking good and, and hopefully we can keep them fit for another few weeks.
Mas o meu nome é Barato Car.